Hey guys, what a week, huh? Man, between when I'm filming this on Tuesday and when this goes out on Thursday, like I feel like my life will be completely different again. But anyway, I'm gonna be doing a flip through of my vid of my planner um, <laughs> in this video. I was really hoping that my new insert or my new uh, divider tabs would be in by now. I ordered them on uh, March 1st. They were supposed to ship by the 13th and arrive by the 17th. But um, they didn't, like, the, the shipping label got created on the 13th, but they didn't actually get shipped until the 16th, and they're not going to arrive until the 19th. And I'm really bummed about it. Anyway, let's flip through my Filofax Malden Ochre Pocket Size Planner. It's getting me through these troubled times. Uh, let's see. We've got wallet stuff in the front. So I've got my driver's license, a couple credit cards, this one has my library card, another credit card, health insurance card, some gift cards back here. A little bit of change in the front pocket. I'll flip to the back, let's see, oh this is, uh, I'm working on copying down a knitting part, uh, pattern so that I have that handy, but it's not in place yet. Um, nothing in this pocket, currently nothing in this pocket, currently. Yeah. In the back I have cash, I have some stickers, I have a couple of spare personal checks for paying the babysitter and our weekly church tithe. Let's begin at the beginning. So these are my old, my oldest divider tabs. These are from Danny's Planner Cuties on Etsy and I do really love them. I'm just ready for a change and it's been a long wait. All right, um, front section is the monthly slash check it every day section. So everything on my March Monthly has been cancelled. So I don't really have to look at this anymore, except to remember when my dad's birthday is, but I'm not going to forget that. Uh, let's see, on the back here I have some date-specific tasks. These are Peanuts Planner Co. inserts, by the way. This one is um, Next Action Items in a Context List. And I've done some of these. One of them got rescheduled, or scheduled, Migrate that direction. Check out my most recent blog post if you are curious about the distinction between left arrows and right arrows in the bullet journal lexicon. I explain it hopefully well enough. Uh, this is my bra tracker. I have decided, uh, since I'm in my second trimester now, to only wear my two more comfortable bras. So I'm just doing them two days of each one and then, you know, washing them when they get to that point. It's working but I'm still keeping track of it. It's just easier to keep track of it because I don't forget. Uh, I'm using another one of these. These, by the way, this is one thing per, one thing one year tracker from my Summer Touch. Works really great. I love the simplicity of it and I also really like that there's a line here to like tell you what it's for. This one is for my one line a day journal uh, where I just kind of jot down some thoughts. Just It's actually like up to three lines, but um, every day for a decade. So I'm still in, year one, but so far so good. I go back and like fill in every week or two and like try to, so I haven't missed anything, but I haven't done it every single day. Um, but uh, this reminds me to do it. This is the All My Routines insert from my Summer Touch, which I don't really reference very often. I've been thinking about maybe remaking it again, but um, for now this is pretty accurate, more or less. Uh, this waiting on section is going to be, now has more of a use, this uh, is going to be my list of like things to do, errands that need to be run once society is built up again. Um, I need a new watch battery, but I'm pretty sure that the place I go to replace my watch batteries is not going to be open, so I'm not even going to bother to go out in public to the mall um, until it's safe to do so. Uh, someday maybe list. I do want to really work on a lot of these things, like projects around the house. I've been picking one per month. This last month I worked on reorganizing our linen closet and it looks amazing. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen that in my stories this last weekend. I'm very proud of myself. I put all the baby toys in there. I'm using the week on a fold out insert from my summer touch for my weeklies. So I have, you know, my little, this is March. Week one uh, looks pretty normal, right? You've seen this already in my uh, weekly plan with me last week. Week two, 
<laughs> starting to look a little weird. We got rain last week and more this week. And then with the weekend, everything kind of falling apart, I just slapped a, let's try this again, because all of our weekend plans were canceled. We were planning on going out of town, but instead we stayed home, sheltered in place, and got some stuff done around the house. So this is this current week. It feels a little sparse. Um, the library is closed, so we're not going to the library. We wouldn't have gone even if it were open, but um, my Wednesday plan here, like I'm filming this, like I said, on Tuesday. Um, the Wednesday plan, I've been left, I left a little mark here, like a highlight of this is where event goes, because we have a Wednesday evening event. It's probably going to be, well, I had two that were overlapping. One of them's canceled, and the other one I think is going to be online, probably. I'm just going to wait until it pans out before writing anything here so that I don't have to fix it later. Um, and this is where hopefully those dividers come in. But the rest of the week is pretty spare looking, except for like my daily morning routine stuff which has been going really well for me. General to-do list, and then over here I have um, a channel content creation scheduling um, because I have not been using my Happy Planner just this month. I felt like I really wanted everything back in one place. So there's my weeklies. I have a couple of blank dailies in here. These are the undated uh, day per page from my Summer Touch. And I just have some in here for those days when I really feel like I want a place to write down like either an hourly time like timed thing or um, task list specific to a day so I can put like general tasks here or evening tasks you know after the baby goes to bed do this that kind of thing um, or actually one weekend I use this for like Friday Saturday Sunday for the whole weekend on one page that worked well and then on the back is I just put grid paper so that I can remove each one whenever I use it um, and not have to like store it around to wait for this day to be filled up and flip it backwards. And I can also use this for notes or anything. I was using it for a packing list for the trip we didn't end up taking. Uh, so I have like three or four of those. And then this is the last page of the, the weekly. So I guess it kind of goes here. Anyway, I'll move it. These are also Peanuts Planner Co. dailies on post-it notes. And I, um have not been using those. I've been using the printable ones instead, so they're still there. Uh, this next section is like my inbox, so it's just sort of a generic, if I don't know where to write something, I'll jot it down here. Um, these are for moving things to and from my Happy Planner, but like I said, I haven't been using that much lately. And then um, this whole next couple of sections are going to be solidified more once I get my new dividers. For now, it feels a little jumbled. Um, this next sort of subsection is stuff related to my pregnancy. So this uh, year at a glance calendar, I mark down like what week I'm on. Um, so here, where am I? March uh, 17th. I'm 14 weeks pregnant. So that's just so I can kind of plan ahead a little bit. This is my um, health tracking. This is my New Year's resolution was to sort of get in shape or get healthy and I did, I did weigh myself, and now I forget. It was 128.4, I think. I've actually lost weight so far in this pregnancy. It's still early enough that I don't think that's a concern. But um, this month, I finally have hit my stride, and I think I've found a routine that works for me. Um, I'm going to be doing a video about it. It's either this Sunday or next Sunday. You'll see. This is a health log from my Summer Touch, and I really like that it's undated. You can just kind of use as many lines as you need. Um, you can say, like, on this day I have this symptom, and I just kind of like the ability to keep track of that, even though I'm not really staying on top of it very well. It kind of helps a little bit. And this is a list of appointments, uh, which I'm not showing you, obviously. And also, they're kind of up in the air at the moment. Who knows? Uh, yeah, for example, this is my list of questions for the doctor, and you can see this one at the bottom here. <laughs> Safety of hospital for anatomy scan, because the uh, radiology department where we have our anatomy scan is, you know, in a hospital, and I don't know if that's safe or not, or what kind of precautions they're taking. I'm going to stop talking about pandemics right now, or I'm going to try, except that library books, <laughs> the due date is actually suspended because, uh, the library's closed. 
But I still want to return this prenatal yoga DVD because I'm, I only used it once and I'm like, eh, it's a little bit too woo for me and also the Mama Strong that I'm doing is working really well so I don't need two different programs. This book though, uh, Mama's Belly, I, I don't remember who wrote it but we picked it up at the library and Agnes is really liking it. It's a, you know, a book about expecting a sibling so it's really cute. If you're looking for recommendations and you are able to get stuff from your library, I would check that one out. Uh, this is my list of dinners I like to make, so I pull this out whenever I'm like, what should we get for food this week? Um, my to watch list, things that I would like to watch sometime. This is kind of on hold for Lent, um, but after Lent. And then on the back here um, are the things that I watch with my husband. So we have started Jack Ryan season two. I think we've watched like one episode of it and we've watched like half of Iron Fist season two and then these are the rest of the Marvel Netflix shows that we still want to try to get through. We are way behind and that's fine because we prefer to sort of binge them. Um, then this is my list of gift ideas, my wish list, personal wish list, and then um, this is a list of things that need to be mended. I think I showed this in last month's flip through that basically I uh, had this list running through my head so I decided to write it down so it wouldn't knock around my head anymore. This is the plans someday for our garden. Maybe we'll be able to work on this significantly this spring because we will not have weekend plans. There's also a chance that we won't be able to get the supplies we need. Who knows? Uh, oh yeah, I probably don't, shouldn't show you all the names of my banks, but that's um, tax documents I'm trying to collect. This is my P&L for my channel, just keeping track of all that with some wish list ideas for if I start making money. Um, I have a rewards visa that I'm using for a few different things, and so I have to keep track of the balance before <laughs> payments start bouncing. Same thing, I'm using another one that I have for, um, for Mama Strong. These are some notes for the Vacation Bible School program that I'm helping to plan. Um, and I just, it's a couple of little notes, and I'm going to put more notes in this as it gets closer, <laughs> if it happens. Uh, this divider was marking off the, um, my Hogwarts section of my planner, which I have just today removed all of those inserts because I'm, I've really stepped back, um, from my Hogwarts and I'm not, like, I don't have any, like, jobs there anymore. Um, and so I don't really need a whole section tracking them. Uh, this next section is content planning, and I've covered up anything you can't see, I think, so let's take a look. We've got my, like, content schedule. You've already seen everything, obviously, from January, February, and most of March. A couple things planned for April. You can see what I've got here. It's not going to be too big of a spoiler. This one is the Gantt chart for the exact same thing. I kind of use it sometimes, and I'm not sure how much it's worth it for me to keep it up to keep making a new one every month. Um, it's like I want it available in case I decide I need to use it, but I think this month is like, eh, I might not make one for next month and see how that goes. This is going to be my video ideas list, possibly also on this side so that I can categorize it as either Thursday or Sunday or blog. And then this is the goal planning insert that I've shown you a few times, mostly just blank versions because this is for like small bite-sized projects, like a couple weeks projects, um, and I like that it fits a whole bunch, um, six of them on one page, so it's not like taking up a whole section of your journal. Next section is future log stuff. So this is the future log from the Peanuts Planner Co. 2020 yearly bundle. Um, you'll see all of the things that are crossed out in May, uh, sorry, March and April. We still have plans, you know, that haven't been canceled yet for the rest of the year. Uh, and I'm not decorating it really this year. I just put a little washi on the edge and I really like this. It works well for me and I pull it out once a month to transfer things over to my monthly spread. And other than that, it just is like a, I put things down as they pop up. I have somewhere to put them. And this is my overflow future log. I always have an and after section. So this is for next year. And then this is for anything that happens after that. 2020, for example, or 2022, I mean, or for whatever, something popped up that's like, don't forget, in, you know, March of 2050, I would put it there. This is an evergreen spread of birthdays and anniversaries. 
you've seen it before. This is my recurring task list. This is also a Peanuts Planner Co. insert and mostly I've been going through around the midpoint of each month and writing down the dates for the next month based on when I did them the current month and then that's the date that I put it on my calendar. That may not make sense but basically I'm basing next month's date off of the current month's actual date. You know, the projected date is based off the actual date. So it's not just like, do it on the 15th of every month. It's like, well, if you did it on the 15th, great, 15th, but then if you don't do it till the 16th, okay, and then you do it a week early, the 11th, whatever. Um, and then there's a couple things here. Cutting liners for our diapers and also replacing Agnes's toothbrush. Honestly, that's something I kind of want to schedule, but also it's just something that like, the other night, she was having a little bit of a tantrum about brushing her teeth. She threw it, it landed in her potty, and we're like, let's just replace it. So we only have one more clean one now, I think. I need to get more. Um, but just keep them stocked. Keep track of when we're replacing them, because if it goes too long, honestly, she chews on it so much, it's pretty easy to tell when it needs to be replaced. My own, I replace uh, every, what, three months? Yeah every three months, so I'm due to do that in April. Um, and so I've just been kind of keeping track of like, as it happens, so that I know the last time it happened. So like, cutting the liners, it really just depends, I guess, on her diet and whatever. If she's eating a lot of fiber, I might need to cut more liners because she's pooping on them more often. So like, I did it on the 15th of January, but then only three weeks later in February, but then uh, five weeks later in March, so. There you go. The very last section is just for spare paper. I have some sticky notes, a page flag, some lined pages, some grid pages, and one cleaning checklist, which if one of these weeks I feel like I need to like clean systematically during the week, that's what this is for. Um, I removed my like cleaning schedule from here because it was only making me feel guilt and not motivation. So this hopefully would be a motivating thing if when I decide to use it, it's here. Because previously it was elsewhere and it needs to just be as a just in case. Stickers. Um, this one here, I don't know if I've shown you this. The, this sticker sheet was just like this one, but I used up a bunch of them in the middle. So I cut out, like I just cut off the, uh, the sticky part on top of like the, I don't know what you call the bit that's left behind when you remove the sticker. Anyway, so this is just the sticker backer. And I use this as like a sticker saver. So like these are some that got removed from spreads after I had already written on them or pulled them off. These are some spare weather stickers so that I have them available like on the go. And these are some that got trimmed down. Uh, so I didn't want to just throw out the other half I wasn't using. So I saved it and it's there. Back pocket has my little page flags, my little washi card. This I think is technically a sticker and I haven't used it. It's so big but I like it. It's cute and it's there. Um, and then this guy holds some other little like sampler size stickers. I have mixed feelings about this back section but so far so good and it's been the same for so long that it'd be weird to change it. Anyway that's what we've got so far for the month of March 2020. Stay safe out there. Um, I will see you in the next one, which is going to be the April 2020 plan with me. If planning has any meaning at this point. Wow, optimism. Honestly, it's fine. Things are, things are actually progressing pretty normally and I have started to come to terms with the fact that I can't see the future, which, you know, was always the case, but it's apparent now. So let me know in the comments if you are still in the throes of freaking out or if you've come to peace in whatever your current situation is. Um, and yeah, elaborate. Let me know what you're thinking, what you're doing, and where you are, and if your kids are, are driving you crazy yet. So I'll see you in the next one below. <laughs> bye. I almost said bye and hello at the same time. Goodbye. Goodbye.